Bonjour, je m'appelle Dr. Smith. Comment t'appelles-tu? Oh, oui. You speak English. I do apologize. I thought I read on your chart somewhere that you spoke French. I was just trying to accommodate. No, I see. Okay. Uh, no, no. French is, uh, it's pretty broken. I mean, I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay. I am Dr. Smith, like I mentioned. Um, I'm going to be your new, uh, case supervisor. I've heard a lot about you, so um, I guess this is a uh, pleasure uh, to be meeting you. <laughs> um, so, why don't uh, we go ahead and uh, get started? It won't take us long. I do apologize that we are meeting under these unfortunate restraint constrictions. Um, I do assure you that it's for uh, your protection and mine. So, okay. Uh, and I did bring you a small goodwill token and uh, or gesture. I heard or rather saw in your file that you seem to enjoy laughter. Yes. It uh, calms you down. So, um, good. I will leave this with you um, after our appointment's done today. So for now, I'll just set this Okay. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Yes. Okay. Um. Starting audio log zero zero one. The date of examination is. September 10th, 2021, and the time is 1,500 hours. Today, I am going to be inspecting SCP-049. Also commonly referred to as Plague Doctor. We will be doing a small blood sample as well as a routine exam and physical. All right. So, tell me, doctor. Yes. Um, how have you been enjoying? Facilities. I see. Uh, yes, uh, it says here, unfortunately, uh, that you're not allowed to have uh, human death subjects anymore. Uh, well, uh, I think it's probably for the best uh, that uh, we avoid looking into that for you further. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, why don't we move on and we can always come back to that topic. Yes. Uh, very good. I am a uh, doctor and 
developed interest in science as well, but uh, there are some things that uh, maybe we should wait to look into further. Yes, okay, let's just, let's just continue your examination, what do you say? Okay. So for the audio log here, it says that SCP-049 is to be contained within a standard secure humanoid containment cell in research sector-02 at site 19, which we are currently in. And you've been here for some time. It says that uh, you are generally cooperative with the Foundation personnel. Is that correct? Good, good. Um, and we do provide you with a corpse, a recently deceased animal, typically a large mammal or bovine at least every two weeks for study. Mm -hmm. And how has that been going for you? Yes, yes. Uh, again, I don't know if the human subjects uh, uh, are the best option. I think we can stick with the large mammal. I did have the um, uh, privilege uh, to investigate and um, dissect one of your um, cured human subjects. Yes. Um, do you mind me asking what is uh, the process you are using for for, uh, your cure. I see, I apologize. Um, I understand you're, uh, still working on your cure. Um, it did appear to me that the, uh, humanoid vessel was, um, how you say, uh, deceased and, uh, reanimated, so they were not, um, appearing to be, uh, living anymore. Oh, I apologize, it was just a, um, question. And, uh, okay, we can come back to the questions. Uh, why don't we go ahead and get started on your exam, since I am your new case supervisor, I'd just like to verify the information that I have uh, read in your file. So we'll be doing a quick little physical and examination, as well as a small uh, blood sample. Okay? just going to start here by getting a pair of gloves. I hope that's okay. You don't have any issues with latex vinyl. Oh, I don't know where what that is. Alright, I'm gonna say no. I mean you are under a rather large amount. For the audio log, SCP-049 is dressed in what appears to be a medieval plague doctor outfit, including plague doctor mask.
to start by getting a um, bit closer to you, if that would be okay, doctor. Tell me, doctor, um, do you ever take the mask off? Okay. No need to apologize. I don't want to, um, alarm you with the pestilence or anything like that, though. This is a secure and safe environment, I assure you. I'm just going to, um, SCP does fear to be a humanoid creature. Skull feels normal, like that of a human. Okay, I'm just gonna take a look here at your garment. Fast. Can you feel that? Let me see. The garment does appear to be growing out of SCP-049. It's as if it is part of his being. Though he does appear to have human-like limbs underneath Cloth like exterior. Okay. Um, uh, doctor, would it be all right with you for uh, science and uh, research purposes um, if I took a small sample of your um, garment? One moment, I'm just gonna grab um, some shears. Okay. Hold still. I'm just going to take a small sample. Did that hurt? The audio log um, retrieved a small sample of uh, Doctor. Alright. So, let's go ahead and continue your examination. I have a um, heart rate monitor here that I'd like to place on your finger Turn that on, and we'll give it a few seconds. I would try to take your um, temperature, but I'm afraid that uh, it'd be hard to do that with the mask. So we'll just skip that. Skip that for now. Log. 
SCP-049 does not seem to have a heart rate. I'm going to take a listen with the stethoscope. One moment, please. All right, this is my stethoscope. Yes, very good. Um, and if it's okay with you again, I'd like to get a little close and see if I can listen to your heart. No, thank you. And if you can just take some deep breaths. wasn't able to hear your uh, heartbeat. Yes. Um, I'd like to try uh, one more thing here. I have my uh, blood pressure cuff. I'd like to... Um, no, it's, uh, it's really okay. I don't know how I'd be able to Move your sleeve. Uh, we'll just put it around it. Okay. And see if I can get your blood. Very interesting indeed. Um, SCP-049 seems to be lacking heart rate and or blood pressure. Just putting that down here in your file. We were missing that information previously. Yes, science can sure be quite fascinating. Do you mind me asking how old we I would like to just confirm your height here. It says that SCP is roughly 1.9 meters or 6 foot 2 inches. So, we'll just verify that real quick for your physical portion. I have a tape measure right here. And I'm just going to hold this up to you here and just fold to the ground. That's about right. Six foot two inches. Very good. I appreciate uh, your cooperation. I hear that you can be quite 
easy to get along with. Glad to see that. Um, I've been quite interested in meeting you. So I'd like to take a quick peek into your your eyes on the mask, if that will be a problem. No, no, I, I won't try to remove your mask, I assure you, just a quick little peek. Okay. Okay. And does the light bother you at all? I suppose normally I would try to do some tests to see how your eyes are dilating and such, but Due to the uh, mask situation, I don't think that's going to be possible, so we'll skip by that. Um, however, I would like to take a look um, into your uh, ears. Very good. If it's all right with you, uh, doctor, I'm just gonna step over to the side and take a quick peek in your Surprisingly, everything looked good. After hearing and everything is going well, no issues. Good. No, I'm not checking you for any diseases or uh, pestilence, I assure you. Um, no, no, I don't mean anything by it. Just a routine um, physical. One more, well, one and two more things, and uh, I'll get your blood sample and be on my way. Thank you, and I will have them bring you a new uh, corpse for you to start your tests on today for your cooperation. Very good. Uh, I have a two day fork right here. Yes music more or less, so I'm going to give it a little whack, hold it up to your ears, and 
You just tell me when it stops. There, here we go. the audio log, I am realizing now that um, this could be a bit tricky with the um, clock in the way. I suppose I could try to find some kind of opening here. Um, sorry to be prodding that. Here we are. Okay. I appear to have found an area on the arm that I can appear to take a sample from. Great. I'm going to start disinfecting the area where I will be taking the blood sample. This is just a Alcohol prep pad. I'm just going to sanitize the area here. I'm glad you are enjoying your. Now that the area is fully sanitized, I'm just going to put on a little bit of iodine. going to spray a little iodine on it. Hold still. We have our syringe right here.
just hold still for me. This should be pretty quick. Just going to one, two, three. Almost done. And good. Very good. And the sample appears normal, so that's a good sign. Right. And how are you feeling? Good? Just going to get this bandage on you real fast. We'll use another card ball here. And I'm just going to push that down. Alright. Alright, for the audio log, I have obtained the blood sample and we are running our last exam. And then we will be done for the day. So. This last test I would like to run with you is a ink blot test where I show you an image and uh, you just tell me what it is that you see. Okay? Very good. Here is the first one. The pestilence, yes. Um, but besides the pestilence, um, do you see like a butterfly, maybe a crab? Pestilence, okay. Alright, let's, why don't we just try the next one? Here is our next image. And I just want you to stare at it for like 10 seconds. Really think about it. And then I'll have you tell me what you see. One, two, three, four. To speak a lot about this um, pestilence, yes. Do you mind me asking, um, what exactly is the pestilence that you're referring to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been around. Okay. Um, and how can one tell if someone has the uh, the pestilence? Mm -hmm. So, is the pestilence the, um, bubonic plague or maybe COVID? Mm, no, it's probably more likely the bubonic plague, though you don't know the terminology, considering COVID is far too new. Oh, uh, 
Um, I was just talking about nothing. It's nothing. I just, uh, just a, no, it's not the pestilence. It's just a, a small virus uh, that kind of caused a, a, a pandemic. Uh, no, it's really uh, nothing. Here, why don't you um, take the lavender? Yes. And, uh, guards, I will uh, be back another time. Okay, bye. Have a good day. Sark 237 Joey Smith Rick 